What's going on guys and welcome back to another Vikings franchise gameplay. In today's game we're in week number 13 getting ready to take on the Chicago Bears. Taking a quick look there at our award winners for last week. Alexander Madison ended up winning Offensive Player of the Week honors for his uh, performance against the Packers. Even though we ended up losing that game, uh, Alexander Madison got the game that he did because Dalvin Cook ended up going down with an injury. Thank goodness it wasn't like a multiple week injury, it was just that... Well, it wasn't even that game injury. We could have put him back in the game, but we were just like, nah, we need you more for playoffs than we do for this game against the Packers. Like, it's all good. I know it's a division game, but I'd rather have you in the playoffs. So, anyways, here we are. Oh, what I forgot to record is that Dalvin Cook is also pissed off at us for that reason, that we didn't take him out of that game. He wants 12 catches, uh, 12 touches at least on this uh, in this game here against the Bears. But I got to be honest with you all, man. Um... I'm still not over that Packers game. I'm I'm not over. I promise you at the end of that game that I'm I'm next time I play the Packers, I'm going to beat them by fifty. Trust and believe that is my goal. I'm going out there trying to put fifty up on their heads because I'm kinda of pissed off about how I ended up losing that game with that motion out at the end that ended up making things glitchy because I tried to click on the Harrison Smith to make the tackle and it's like he ran into a wall. He just completely stopped. I couldn't it, it, yeah, it just didn't sit well with me at all. So just know I'm thinking about getting through this pack of this uh, Bears game as quick as possible and ready to advance to next week so that we can go ahead and take on the Packers and get our revenge. So here we are, second and five. Kirk Cousins feeling the pressure. Hit as he's thrown. That ball falls incomplete to the ground. Brings up a third and five from the 43-yard line. Kirk Cousins back to throw. Has triangle. Won't throw it to triangle. Ends up throwing it late across the middle to Tajay Sharp. He's hit as he's trying to make the catch. End up calling on, I think his name is Brett Colquin, our punter, uh, for the uh, to kick this one away. Beautiful punt there by Colquin. Ends up pinning the Bears back at the five-yard line. First and ten, they're going to hand the ball to Cordell Patterson. And, oh, my gosh, what the heck just happened? That offensive line just opened up the Red Sea. And Cord Cordell Patterson is off and running into the end zone for a 95-yard touchdown against his former team's uh, a former team. And maybe I should give the Bears a little bit more attention. I'm not saying give them full respect, but give them a little bit more attention. Uh, first and ten, next Vikings possession. We're going to hand the ball off to Dalvin Cook. We would definitely need a, uh, definitely would like to get an answer on this drive here. We're going to keep the ball on the ground on second down, hand it off to Dalvin Cook. For whatever reason, the safety just looks at Cook as he runs past him, out of bounds up to the 37-yard line for another first and ten. Uh, in the Wildcat formation, the reigning offensive uh, player of the week, Alexander Madison, in there for his first carry of the day. Uh, try to dance around a little bit with uh, Khalil Mack, who's playing linebacker for whatever reason, and is only able to gain three yards, but it doesn't matter because that three yards gets brought back due to a holding. Uh, first and 20, we're going to run the screen pass. That one gets read pretty well by Khalil Mack. Second and 16, uh, back to throw. Kirk Cousins hit again as he's thrown, and that one falls incomplete. Third and 16 from the 43-yard line, needing a big play here, hoping at least to get in the field goal range. Kirk Cousins is going to throw the short drag to Justin Jefferson, who makes Khalil Mack look stupid in the open field, and gets down to the 22-yard line, picking up the first down. Um, Okay, okay. What the hell? There's just a stink bug crawling on my leg. Um, Where am I? Second and 10 from the 22-yard line. Back to the Wildcat formation. Dalvin Cook's going to get the direct snap, try to go off the right side, and just unable to make a man miss. If he was able to get past that corner, probably had a lot of room to run. Third and nine, Kirk Cousins back to throw, and he's going to find his running back, Dalvin Cook, out of the uh, backfield into the end zone for a touchdown. Beautiful find there by Kirk Cousins. We noticed that he was in man defense, and he has one huge mismatch on his defense that I said it before every time that we used to play uh, played the Bears. I don't know why he has Khalil Mack back at the linebacker position. Like, yeah, he's good on some plays. But when I'm throwing the ball, Khalil Mack is not fast enough to keep up with uh, any of my running backs at all. Any of them. So anyway, second and ten. Uh, Lance under pressure. Ends up getting hit as he's thrown by, I believe that was Montez Sweat. Ends up throwing incomplete. Third and ten. Ends up finding his man, Allen Robinson, across the middle. Four, uh, down to the 35-yard line and picks up the first down. First and ten. Cordell Patterson back in there for another carry. Picks up a gain of ten yards and three carries. Cordell Patterson has 105 yards. Uh, it's going to be a long day. It's really going to be a long day if Cordell Patterson starts putting the ball on ground. A huge hit there by Harrison Smith and Daniil Hunter on the recovery. 
Uh, Vikings with the chance to go up 14 to 7 here, running the jet sweep with Justin Jefferson, turns the corner, gets away from Khalil Mack, and is going to go ahead and duck out of bounds after gaining 15 yards down to the 26 yard line. I love running the, those jet sweeps with Justin Jefferson. It's unfortunate that we're so late in the season that I'm not going to be able to trigger any kind of dev upgrade for him. But the sa only saving grace I have is that he is close to the top three with touchdowns. So if I start giving him a lot more touches in the end zone, as we end up finding uh, Adam Thielen in the back of the end zone, beautiful throw there by Kirk Cousins. Uh, Vikings go up 14-7. But, yeah, if I start giving uh, Justin Jefferson a bunch of touchdowns and get him at least in that second or third ranking uh, – by receivers in the end zone or by receiving touchdowns, he should be able to get a dev uh, upgrade in a dev scenario. But anyways, first and 10 after the Vikings touchdown, Cordell Patterson is loose again. Anthony Harris trying to ta uh, chase him down. Luckily, he ends up getting stopped by the sideline. He ends up getting that uh, sideline walking animation. A Anthony Harris is able to catch up to Cordell Patterson and tackle him. Uh, Second, or his, what? That's his fifth carry. Cordell Patterson finally stopped for a loss of yards there. Se uh, second and 14 to try to run the bubble screen. And uh, Harrison Smith is able to, to blow that one, uh, blow that play up. Third and 13. Lance on the rollout to his right ends up rolling right into Eric Kendricks, and we get a user sack on third down. Brings up a fourth and 19. Bears are going to decide to punt, uh, to, uh, try the field goal here. Uh, what is this, like a 43 or 50-something yard field goal? It's up, and it's right down the middle. Good. Uh, amazing kick there by the kicker. I, did, I honestly didn't think he was going to make that one. So 14-10, to 10, Vikings next possession on the field. Things have been going so uh, pretty good so far. Just keep keep things going. Just keep handing the ball off to Cordell pa or not Cordell Patterson, Dalvin Cook. Unnecessary juke right there. I thought that Khalil Mack was going to play that a little bit different, but... He didn't, and my juke was basically worthless. Second and nine, we end up throwing the ball. Again, it's not uh, it's not Khalil Mack on him this time, but it's, don't matter, it doesn't matter what linebacker. If you put a linebacker on Dalvin Cook, it's a mismatch. Uh, first and ten after the huge game by Dalvin Cook down to the 23-yard line. Alexander Madison gets his uh, second carry, makes a beautiful move, and is going to slide into the end zone for his first touchdown of the day. Um, like I said, I like to mix Alexander Madison in with this team. We have a bunch of weapons. Dalvin Cook is good and all, but when he gets tired, he start oh, uh, Tariq Cohen off and running. Thank God he ended up running into his own blocker, gets stopped at the 45-yard line. But I like to mix Alexander Madison in, in with this offense. I, even though he's only get, uh, got in and got player of the week because Dalvin Cook got injured, doesn't mean he doesn't play at all. Second and eight, uh, Lance ends up finding Allen Robinson on the out route. Gets, picks up the first down and gains uh, to the 32-yard line. Right back to the quick out, and we we're able to make the hit on him but uh, and knock him out of bounds to the 19-yard line. First and 10, Lance back to throw. Feeling the pressure and ends up connecting with his uh, tight end. I think that's Cole Komet. Uh, ends up taking a shot but holds on to the ball. Gains six yards. Second and four, and oh, my gosh. He just threw... A horrible pass right to I think that's Holton Hill off and running trying to uh, make a return just unable to get past uh, the quarterback Lance and sets up the Vikings offense again with the chance to go up uh, from the 43 yard line Kirk Cousins drops back to throw looking for Adam Thielen and damn that was a hell of an interception. Uh, I thought I had Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen normally likes to win, or can win those jump ball situations. Didn't win it there. Uh, first and ten after the interception, they hand the ball off to Cordell Patterson, and why not? Cordell Patterson has just literally been running all over and through this defense in the first half. This is, I'm not going to lie, I'm not expecting this at all. Second and 11 from the 41-yard line. Two-minute warning just passed. Lance is going to drop back to throw and looking for his tight end commit. Ends up finding him, gets down to the 32-yard line. Uh, Bears are in, in a position to score here again. And, oh, my, uh, Harrison Smith just gets mossed by Anthony Miller down to the 26-yard line. One minute left here. Lance back to throw, feeling the pressure again. That ball is still bouncing around. Finally falls incomplete. Third and four from the 26-yard line. Uh, Lance back to throw. It ends up trying to go for his uh, big target, Anthony uh, Al uh, Allen Robinson. Unfortunately, drops the ball. Bring on the kicker again and... This one a lot closer than the last field goal attempt he had, but he shanks it wide right, bringing the Vikings back on the field. An accidental run commit by the Bears, and we just cannot make him 
pay. I'm going to be honest. I wasn't expecting that, and it kind of, like, scared the shit out of me at first. Like, I didn't know where to throw. If I was paying attention, I would have hit circle and hit Tajay Sharp on the streak, but I literally, for, like, forgot what my route combinations were as soon as I saw all 11 defenders run at me. Like, it literally scared the shit out of me. Uh, beautiful coverage there by Buster Skrine on uh, Adam Thielen. Looked like Adam Thielen had, had, uh, had him beat on his route, but just re- beautiful closing speed there by uh, Buster Skrine. First and 10, 32 seconds left here. Don't know if the Bears are going to try to put something together. They're going to hand the ball off to Cordell Patterson, and he's loose yet again. This time all the way up to the 47-yard line, and why not try something? Uh, first and 10 from the 47. That was an interception. Um, what? Okay. Weird Madden little glitchy thing. That like, He ran backwards. He thought that he threw an interception also. But it doesn't matter. Come back on second and six. Lance throws the interception directly to Harrison Smith. And now the Vikings are looking at a chance to possibly get in field goal range and going up 14 points into the half. First and 10, uh, Kirk Cousins ends up connecting with Justin Jefferson on the drag route. Gets out of bounds to the 48-yard line, saving those final two timeouts we have. First and 10, under 10 seconds left, uh, Kirk Cousins ends up throwing a dot. A, a complete dot to Kyle Rudolph sets up a 47 yard field goal for Dan Bailey going into the half and it's up and it's good so beautiful time uh, beautiful clock management there uh, amazing catch in traffic there by our big tight end Kyle Rudolph like I said I'm trying to use Irv Smith uh, Senior or Smith Junior a little bit more but Kyle Rudolph still has a place on this team so Starting off the second half here, uh, going to be starting out on defense. Feeling pretty good about that. Just got to figure out how how the heck we're going to stop Cordell Patterson because, what, he's probably up over a good 150 here. And, okay, we're not going to be starting out on defense. We're going to be starting out on offense after we get the weird camera turning animation. But he ran right into an on-fire Harrison Smith with um, Tariq Cohen, who already has fumbleitis. Like, after he after that fumble, he like did the whole thing where he paused the game and was like, "Oh, I just got cheated." Like, no, you did not just get cheated. You just made a horrible mistake. You ran into an on fire Harrison Smith with a player that has fumbleitis. First and goal after Justin Jefferson got that huge uh, carry down to the goal line. We try to run the jet sweep with him again. Like I said, I'm trying to get him touchdowns to see if he can get ranked in the top three and wide receiving touchdowns. Didn't get in, in there on first down. Second and goal, we're not going to play around with it. We actually wanted to uh, put him in on the Wildcat, but that would count as a rushing touchdown for him. So we're just like, nah, screw it. We're just going to put Dalvin Cook in there, get him another touchdown. One more uh, step closer to the um, touchdown record on the season. First and 10, next uh, Bears possession after they still brought it out the end zone with Tariq Cohen. Hadn't learned his lesson yet. Uh, Tariq, uh, Cordell Patterson was able to pick up a gain of three yards. Second and seven, another out route to, uh, to Anthony... Uh, Allen Robinson, I don't know why I called him Anthony. Allen Robinson gets the game up to the 28-yard line. The out routes have basically been his offense. It's been out routes and Cordell Patterson. They hand it off to Cordell again, and he's loose yet again. Holton Hill in pursuit, trying to make the tackle. Gets juked by Cordell Patterson, and Larry Hughes, fortunately, is able to bring him down. But he's well over 200 yards now. Cordell Patterson is just running rampant all over my defense. I can't do anything to stop him. And Allen Robinson making a huge catch in traffic. He took a shot. I'm glad. I, I'm hey. I'm happy for the Bears use that he held on to it because I mean you came back and missing the field goal, but I'm happy that for you that he, uh, he held on to that because I promise you I thought he was going to drop that. Uh, 31 to 16 lead. Don't feel like doing math right now. What is that? It's a 15 point lead here. Hey, look at me. Uh, knowledge is power. Um, first and ten, we're going to run the bubble, the RPO bubble to Justin Jefferson. Picks up a first down up, uh, and gets out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Coming back with a handoff to Dalvin Cook. That gets stopped at the line. Second and ten, we're right back to the jet sweep. End up cutting it up early with Justin Jefferson. One man to beat and make Eddie Jackson look completely stupid in the open field. And go ahead, dance your way into the end zone, young man. Justin Jefferson. Do I really need abilities on him? Like, honestly, do I need abilities on him? He's just so freaking good without him already. I I, I can't imagine that abilities would make him e- uh, even better than what he already is. If, if, they, if they do, that might be considered cheating because Justin Jefferson is just a huge cheat code for me. Uh, first and 10. Finally, we stopped uh, Cordell Patterson in behind the uh, line of scrimmage for a loss on the, uh, one yard on the play. And they go right back to him and... Eric Kendricks is able to tackle him, but he does gain three yards. Bringing up a third and eight situation from the 21-yard line. Uh, Lance, under center, making all the adjustments in the world. 
Snaps looking to throw, rolling out to his right, can't find anybody open, gets hit as uh, get hit by Daniil Hunter as he's thrown, and that ball goes incomplete. Brings up a fourth and eight and another Bear, Chicago Bears punt. With a 22-point lead, I'm feeling very comfortable right now, to say the least. Very comfortable. Um, still going to keep putting points up on the board as much as I can. I'm not, that doesn't mean just because I have the lead, I'm taking my foot off the gas. No, no, no. Like I said in the pregame, we're getting this team ready for next week. We're, we're, we have big plans next week. We're trying to put up 50. Yes, I said it. Oh, gosh. We're not going to put up 50 with throws like that by Kirk Cousins. Try to get the ball to Irv Smith Jr., and he just completely missed the target there. Overthrew him. That ball got batted around in the air and intercepted by Eddie Jackson. But, yeah, like I said, we got big plans to put up 50 on the Packers next week. I promise you, 50 points we're trying to put up one of them because I'm not over this loss. So this game is just basically like a warm-up, a teaser, like a, the, the trailer to what should happen next week. Uh, get, just got away with a late hit there by Larry Hughes uh, on Cole Commit. Horrible editing again, but um, we're just going to go ahead and rock with it. Uh, comment down below if you got how, you are, how your day is going. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you should not miss any more of these Vikings franchise gameplays. And we'll go ahead and get back into things. First and 10 from the 26-yard line. And Lance throws it directly to Anthony Barr on the return. Tried to get a little shake and bake going there with Anthony Barr. Just anybody would uh, unable to do anything. And oh gosh, uh, uh, Montez Sweat is injured. <laughs> Montez Sweat is injured. Let's let's hope and pray that he's it's not it's not anything serious. Um, come on now, just waiting for for this right now. I already played this game, but still, it's, I I still just need to see it to see it to uh, confirm it for me. Running the jet sweep, and there it is. Uh, MCL sprain, so he's good. We, uh, yeah, we clicked on it saying that we're going to put him back in, but we're going to treat him just like we did Dalvin Cook last week when he got injured. We're actually going to take uh, Montez Sweat out. And I think we subbed Jonathan Allen in on most of the formations that he's in. So anyway, second and seven, Kirk Cousins looking for, uh, looking for some place to throw it. Ends up finding Ty J. Sharp in the flats. Gets out of bounds up to the 33-yard line for a first down. First and ten, we're setting up the screen for Dalvin Cook. He's able to make one man miss, but gets spun and knocked out, uh, knocked out of bounds after a gain of five yards. Up to the 28-yard line. Second and five, mismatch. Dalvin Cook just is abusing Literally abusing uh, Khalil Mack. I don't know why you have him at linebacker. Put him at defensive end. Let him let him rush. Put him out right outside linebacker or something. Just don't put him at middle linebacker. I don't know why he does that. I don't know why he continues to uh, return the ball out of the end zone with Tariq Cohen. We already made you pay once. Do you really want to fumble again? First and 10, I hand the ball off to Quirdell Patterson, who's up over 275 yards, man. Like, even though this is a horrible loss... Cordell Patterson definitely did not take a loss. Up over 275 yards. Yeah, he only has one touchdown, luckily. Ooh, big hit there by Harrison Smith on his former teammate. But, yeah, um, Cordell Patterson is still winning in my book. Uh, third and nine. Risky throw across the middle. Gets batted away by Anthony Barr. Unfortunately, we're unable to pick that one off. Brings up a fourth and nine. Bears are going to go for it. And we send six. He blocks five. And Daniel Hunter comes free. Hits uh, Lance as he's throwing the ball. And it's a turnover on downs. And now look who's blinking. Dalvin Cook is blinking. Um, yeah, quick thing about Dalvin Cook. I've never gotten him activated much because Dalvin Cook, for whatever reason, yeah, he's a running back, but his X factor is activated by throwing the ball. So, yeah, I had to get like three or four 20-yard completions to, uh, or receptions uh, to Dalvin Cook. And it's basically, like for, I think it's first one free. He has the... Higher risk of fake outs on jukes, hurdles, and spin moves, whatever. First and ten, Alexander Madison in there. And we throw a touchdown to him. Gets his uh, second touchdown of the game. And we're still using and abusing Khalil Mack. That's the weak point to the this uh, Bears defense. I don't know what else to uh, what else to tell you. I'm just going to keep on going. Oh, hoo, hoo. Tariq Cohen takes another shot. Should have probably dropped that one. Uh, first and ten from the 22-yard line. Taking a shot deep, throws off his back foot, and that one could have been intercepted, but I swatted it away because you know how Madden is with their glitchy catching animations. 52-16 uh, to 16 at this point. This game is clearly, and I do mean clearly, over. Uh, three minutes left here. Lance drops back to throw and overthrows his tight end commit. Throws a right to Hughes, who has an interception. I think that's his first. Larry, uh, Larry, yeah, Mike Hughes' his first interception. Going to go ahead and kick the Bears off their own field. And, yeah, we... Skipped a bunch of time here. We ended up running, uh, running off a lot of clock. 
Third and 12, we run the screen pass here to uh, Der uh, Dalvin Cook, thinking that he the Bears aren't going to call their timeouts at all. We're literally just going to sit here on the screen until things are done. But for whatever reason, he decides to call his timeout. We go ahead and bring on the kicker put up, uh, to put up the field goal. We already have a 36-point lead. Why not make it 39? And the kick is up and it's good, but there is a flag on the play. Roughing the kicker, we'll go ahead and get, accept that penalty. We could have tried. We actually did try to put up more points on the field, but we we're like, nah, we're not even going to call our timeouts. The one that we're really uh, we're ready to get to is the Packers. So leave a like on this video if you guys score, uh, enjoyed. Subscribe for more Vikings franchise gameplays. Subscribe so you do not miss this Packers one because I told you I'm promising to put up 50. I'm putting up 50 on the Packers. I promise you. Anyways, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later. Continue to be one of the best teams around as they move to 10 and 2. And they'll return home next week to take on the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the.